hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's have a look on kirk white fill uh, so this is a brush actually so if you could see uh, we have the brushes here and then you should find kirk white fill so let me pick that brush and uh, it's right now symmetry on i just uh, draw a shape so this shape uh, is uh, going to be filled uh, with polygons and uh, it also will have the thickness so let me press shift f uh, to enable the poly frame uh, you can maybe uh, switch off the fill color now the the model looks too thick here so let me just uh, reduce the size of the brush and then click over the curve and this becomes thin uh, let me check with uh, the stroke options so i'll go to the stroke i'll put it here and then we have uh, the curve related options like let's say i want to lock the start and end and then uh, choose the liquid option and then you should be able to see i'm able to uh, scale up i mean uh, make the curve more big uh, and also uh, I'll enable the snap option and then just drag that model and then when I just uh, move uh, close to the surface and you should be able to see that's uh, overall snapping to the surface which is not really a correct way but yeah it uh, the total curve is being projected onto onto that so you should be able to see I've created this wall mural which is uh, uh, made with uh, different uh, pieces all together okay so I use this uh, quad fill here okay uh, so I have taken this uh, cube model, which is uh, where I'm going to put my, um, you know, the murals on top of. So what I'm going to do is to start this from the scratch, I will take a polygon plane. Okay. And uh, I will just make this as a polymesh 3D and then choose this uh, curve quad fill. Okay. And uh, let me go to the transform. Okay. And then enable active symmetry and then choose the radial symmetry and uh, i would also switch off uh, the switch on the z symmetry and let, let me try drawing something here uh, so it's eight subdivisions or eight uh, repeats so i'm going to put it to four and then you got this here so i'm going to draw it like that and then you should get this piece okay so I can um, select the brush, okay, uh, the brush and then start moving this and then try to manipulate as you wanted them to be. Okay, until you get it correct. Now you should be able to see the half of the model is getting inside the plane. Uh, for that, you can always choose uh, the brush and then go to the depth and then increase that uh, embed value to 100 and then select that curve. And then that sits on the top. As I told, I can reduce the brush size and then make it more thin. So once your model is achieved, okay, uh, one thing I can do that is I can go to the stroke, okay, switch off the bend and the snap and then move that uh, closer so that I can get that nice uh, closeness of this uh, model. So once that is done, if you believe that uh, the model is done, just tap or just click on the model and uh, that is accepted. Then you can go to the sub tool here, okay, and then uh, go to the split and then use split unmasked points so that is now a separate piece of model uh, so uh, I can start sculpting on top of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Z modeler I'm going to hide this uh, plane which is on the back and put these two things on front and then press ctrl W which can make it as a poly group so the back side is one poly group the front side is the other poly group here and also I'm going to use a line and then insert those lines just for the crease purpose okay uh, once that is done, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to mask uh, this uh, model and then use a deformer here. Uh, so in the deformation menu, you got the smooth. So increase that value. So when I do that, you should be able to see the model is turning more uh, soft. So keep uh, that smooth value um, multiple times here. So once that is done, you can clear the mask and uh, what you can really do here is uh, you can go to the geometry, divide it and delete the lower and once that is done, go to the geometry section, then choose Z remeasure and then just keep the groups and then do the Z remesh on the model. So that gives you uh, this. So keep groups is not really applied. Let me go and see what's wrong yep so there is some issue so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select 
all of them and then put it one poly group and that's all in one poly group so good to go so i can press ctrl d okay i can duplicate it several times and then um, maybe i can start using uh, the tools uh, which i really wanted so i'm going to choose the uh, active symmetry on and then hold control and then just start painting it over there and then move those points I'll use a deformation menu and then start applying the smooth here okay I use uh, the chisel brush here okay the chisel brushes we have uh, different curvatures here so I can select those and then I can add lines like that so I need to press uh, more I mean I need to apply more subdivision levels So I need to clear the mask first and then divide it. Control D. So I, I the, the polygons are not really sufficient, so I'm dividing it several times and then okay. So just uh, it's sort of uh, flower petals I've placed, and uh, maybe I can select uh this sub tool and then duplicate it okay and then select i switch off the active symmetry off and then put the pivot point in the center and then just duplicate it and then move it a bit inside once that is done i'm going to select uh, these both models and then merge down so once that is done, I'm going to use the append and then choose the sphere and then scale this. I'm going to scale uh, this inside and then put on top of it. Now I'm going to uh, apply the uh, division and then uh, I'll be using any of this uh, chisel. So it has got the multiple subdivision level so I need to freeze it so I'll be choosing the uh, chisel brush and then go to the active symmetry on and then repeat this to 24 times and then put that in the center Okay, so that adds up a nice a floral design and you can do all the possible modifications as per your requirement and that's your choice how you want to make it. But yeah, quite the fill is somewhere uh, to start with. So I've modeled the, the cow and calf model with the same technique. 